and it's steaming real well so I'm going to flip it upside down into our uh, pan of water and we should get another nice implosion. <laughs> that one worked really good as well and I got wet and I got water all over me. Hey guys, today we're gonna smash some cans using science. This is great fun, and I tell you what, it's something that's so simple and so amazing, you can even try it at home, as long as you promise to be super careful, okay? You have to be careful, because otherwise it could go bad, and we don't want it to go bad. But if you're careful, I promise, you can have a ton of fun doing this at home, and it's perfectly safe as well. All right, so basically guys, we've got some aluminum cans. Uh, we've got a nice source of heat right here. I've got a hot plate, and we've got some cold water uh, that I put into uh, this dish over here. I don't know if you, there you go, you can see that. Uh, just some cold water here. Uh, and so what we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna add just a little touch of water to uh, one of the cans, and we're gonna put that on the hot plate to get it nice and hot. And then we'll flip it over and smash the crap out of it. It'll be a good thing. So it's something that's super fun, and once you figure out how to do it, I guarantee you'll probably show someone else how to do it as well. So uh, it's a lot of fun, and uh, well, it's just uh, it's just fun. Let's check it out. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna put just some water in uh, one of these cans here. It doesn't really take a whole lot, just a little bit down in the bottom. Ideally, what we're looking for here uh, is just enough to get some good water vapor going in there, um, but without really making the can cooler. So. Uh, got just a little bit of water in here and we're gonna put that on the hot plate now from this point on though It's gonna get hot. So uh, I've got some uh, Little beaker tongs here that we're gonna use uh, To grab just really though if you had like uh, just a pair of uh, what are they called tongs? I guess uh, just tongs that you would use in the kitchen or something uh, Or barbecue tongs something like that as long as you've got something that you can grab a hold of the can without burning your hand That would be uh, super beneficial all right, so let me uh, let's get that can heating up, that water warm, and I'm gonna reposition a few things here so we can get some good shots and smash some cans. Okay, so here's what we're doing. Uh, we've got the can on our hot plate, and it's definitely getting hot, uh, pretty hot, as a matter of fact. Which means that the uh, water that's inside the can is vaporizing at this point, and since it's turning into a vapor, those molecules are spreading out. And that's all fine because the uh, the cans open. See the top of the can open. Um, but if we uh, if we flip the can over and put it in the water very quickly, then we're doing a couple of things. Number one, we're sealing off the opening of the can so no air can get in or out. And we'll also be condensing those water vapor molecules and turning them back into a liquid, which will cause them to shrink together and condense or con condensate back into a liquid. And, uh, well, that'll, essentially it leaves a big vacuum inside the can and uh, causes an implosion on the can. So uh, what we're going to do, we're going to use our tongs here and uh, as soon as we get this thing hot enough, which uh, looks like it's just about there. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and grab the can over here and I'm going to flip it upside down very quickly into the water and uh, in the process of doing that we should see uh, that our can implodes as well. So. I'm gonna grab it down by the bottom so you know it's not me squeezing it, and here we go. Ha <laughs> ha, just like that. So what's happened here is the air pressure inside the can dropped very quickly and very rapidly, uh, which caused uh, for it to suck in on the walls of the can. And if I can just dump the water out of here, um, you'll see what's happened then is the can has become crushed now all the way around, uh, just like that. Uh, so it's a very cool thing and uh, just a ton of fun. Once you've done it a time or two, you'll want to do it again and again. So, you know what, why not? Let's do it again. Absolutely, that's what science is all about. Just doing it again and again and having fun and enjoying yourself. So we're going to put some more uh, water in, into the can here, like so. And I'm just going to put that on here because we want to get that... Uh, that heated up and vaporized. All right, so what we're doing now, we're, we've got another can on here with just a little bit of water in there. We're converting that water, that liquid water, into water vapor, uh, which is causing it to spread out in the can. And then as soon as we dump the can in here and seal off that opening, 
we condense all of that uh, water vapor back into a liquid. That's where the term condensation comes from, by the way. You're, you're condensing it all. You're shrinking it back together into uh, more of a cohesive bundle, so to speak. So our, uh, our water vapor will turn quickly into liquid water again, and that's going to cause a very drastic drop in pressure inside the can, which will suck in on all the walls. And again, we get a nice implosion. Not an explosion. We're not exploding the can. There's not pieces of the can flying everywhere. We're quite simply imploding the can and sucking it all in on itself. So uh, once we get this hot as well, and I hear it steaming and uh, spitting and sputtering. Uh, again, I'm gonna grab it down here by the bottom. So you Maybe I'll grab it down here by the bottom if I can just get a hold of it. Uh, just again, so you know it's not me squeezing it. I can squeeze as hard as I want and nothing happens. Uh, but as soon as we dump it upside down into the water, we should get a very nice implosion. Uh, that's super fun. Now we've got a smashed can uh, of soda again. Uh, there we go. And uh, so again, you can see where, uh, well, the whole thing is, uh, has been imploded all the way around. So it's uh, kind of a cool thing. Very fun. And uh, well, it's just fun. Okay, so um, let's do one more, um, and uh, I tell you what, I'm going to fix your mist, because why not? We'll get rid of that, we don't need it. Uh, but again, I'm going to put just a little bit of water in here. This again, by the way, guys, just water, absolutely pure water. Um, and uh, again, this is just so simple, right? You just put a little water in the can, just enough so you can kind of hear it slosh around a little bit. You hear that? That's what you're looking for. You just want a little tiny bit of water in there. Uh, almost enough to cover the bottom, but not quite, right? Because the bottom's uh, indented like that. You don't want to completely cover the bottom, but as long as it kind of covers all the way around the outside edge. Sounds about like that. Uh, you should be in good shape, so. Then you put it on your hot plate, or you can use a stove, or, you know, I mean, I suppose if you had like a fire or something along those lines, you could use that as well. Um, I have done it with a Bunsen burner before. Um, it just... The can gets really hot. Uh, this works out really good just putting it on a hot plate and uh, we can get pretty good results that way. So, All right, but our can here is definitely ready. I hear it, uh, so I'm just gonna loosely grab it here. I hear all that water being vaporized and you can kind of see the steam. I don't know uh, if you guys can see that very well from where you're at, but you can definitely see the steam rolling out of the can. Uh, so I'm just gonna grab it and flip it upside down into our cold water. <laughs> that one really grabbed a hold of it, uh, really crushed it. So let's have a look at that. Oh yeah, you can see where it really pulled that, uh, that can in very well. So we got a very nice implosion here. That's excellent, excellent, good result. And proving yet again um, that just by drastically dropping the uh, temperature, you can create a very quick change in pressure. And that quick change in pressure has got enough force with it to implode a can which is a ton of fun. So uh, let's do this one more time because you know, you never can have too much fun with some cans. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and put just a little bit of water inside of this can here. And uh, you might wanna get some things ready at home as well so you can try this. You'll need some aluminum cans, uh, a little bit of water, and uh, something with which to heat up the aluminum can, like maybe a hot plate or something like that. Um, or you can just do it on the stove. It's a little sketchy, but you know what? If you're super careful and smart about things, then it'll be fine. So, good times. Again, you just want to get enough in there that you can kind of hear it. Just hear it real, real light in there. So, uh, and now we've got a little bit of a mess on our counter, but it's okay. So I'm gonna put uh, just a tiny bit more in there. There we go. Uh, and we're gonna get this vaporizing. So once that vaporizes, and turns that water into a liquid, we can uh, effectively implode this can as well. Uh, and I tell you what, this does work even on larger containers. Oh, hey, there you are. This does work even on larger containers, and it's something we may revisit maybe next week or something. Uh, I've got some larger metal cans that we could use um, in order to get a nice implosion. But in order to do that, we'd have to, uh, well, we, we gotta do a little setup, a little preparation, because I don't wanna just throw it together for you guys. Let's do it right, right? Uh, anyway, we might do that next week. That could be a thing that happens, uh, so keep checking back. Uh, and uh, make sure you're subscribed, too. And click the little bell over there so you can get notified, and that way you'll just, you'll know. All right, last one. We've got our can here. You can get a hold of it. Good. We just want to have a good grip on it. 
and it's steaming real well so I'm gonna flip it upside down into our uh, pan of water and we should get another nice implosion. <laughs> that one worked really good as well and I got wet I got water all over me so that is what it is. I guess if you play with water you're gonna get wet right just like if you play with fire you're gonna get burned so There we go, and this sucker right here, I tell you what, look at that. Look at that can right there. It's been destroyed. Uh, I don't know if you can see that very well, but all of the sides are crushed in very good. So uh, we have successfully uh, crushed cans with science, which is an awesome and amazing thing. So uh, it's been good, it's been great. Here's the uh, spoilage. Let me see if I can flip this around here and get a good, there we go. So those are the cans that we've destroyed. Um, another thing about this is you might make just a little bit of a mess. I'm not going to lie. It's not like a real messy thing, but uh, you can see here where we've been smashing cans and we've got some water and that sort of thing. Uh, that's just kind of been drizzled all over the place. So um, definitely want to be careful uh, because it will make just a little bit of a mess. So. Um, other than that, this is a ton of fun. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys are able to do this. Um, if so, please let me know. I'd love to hear, hear back from you guys. Uh, also, I might try and do something a little bit bigger next week. Maybe a bigger can uh, or something along those lines. Uh, anyway, if it's something that you'd be interested in seeing, uh, please let me know in the comments down below. And uh, we'll work on that for next week as well. Okay guys, a couple of notes on safety. If you are going to try this at home, just a couple of quick things. Number one. If you are using an open flame, please keep the can far enough away from the open flame that you don't melt the aluminum can. Also, uh, if you guys are going to use an open flame, uh, please just make sure that you guys are very careful and that you don't burn yourself or, or set anything else on fire along the way. Okay? If you're using an electric stove or some kind of an electric heat plate or skillet or something along those lines, that's perfect. Just be very careful again. Um, we're dealing with things that get hot, so um, one important thing that I learned a long time ago, hot things look just like cold things um, a lot of times. It's very hard to tell. Like for instance, when you take an aluminum can and you heat it up to the point where it's hot enough to vaporize the water inside, it doesn't really look like it's hot. Um, other than noticing the little bits of steam that comes out of the top, really if you just look at the can itself, it just looks like a soda can sitting there. So. Uh, please be aware that some things, even though they don't look hot, might in fact actually be hot and could burn you. So uh, we want to avoid the burns, if at all possible. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button down below. If it's your first time here, that subscribe button is really calling your name down there. Please go click it. It really helps me out uh, and it helps you out because now you'll be in the loop and you'll know every single week when my video comes out on Monday you'll be one of the first ones to know just by hitting that subscribe button. So uh, I appreciate your guys' support. Um, I'm so glad that you came by and uh, I appreciate you, you watching this. Uh, and uh, again, if you guys have suggestions for future videos, please let me know, I'd love to hear about them. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And aside from that, I'll catch you guys next time.